my name is Sheridan Harbridge. I am playing Tessa Emsler in Prima Fat Sheep. My name is Lee Lewis and I am the director of Susie Miller's play Prima Facie. Tessa is a criminal defence barrister and it sort of tracks um, herself across, it's like a couple of months period of her really reaching a kind of um, peak in the early phase of her career. She's deeply ambitious and really enjoying the game that is law. Um, and then a very awful incident happens to her and she suddenly finds herself having to go through the system that she herself has been a part of but on the other side. Um, and that is a very confronting experience for her. It's about, for me on some level, the coming of age of Susie as a playwright. She's brought together an enormous lived experience with her legal training, with her playwright's experience to create something that is both deeply personal, widely political and uh, wildly important. <laughs> and it's not often that playwrights can bring together everything in their life to make one story. This is hers. We got to have Susie um, for the first week sitting around the table and really hearing her talk about what the life is has been the best bit. I've been watching her like a hawk as well, just going, oh, you know, um, we all have an image of a, a lawyer being a kind of very, like a buttoned up, put together um, person is what we gravitate to if we were going to play one. But to have Susie there who was a lawyer and to see that it is really just um, a bunch of extremely ambitious storytellers, somewhat um, frustrated actors, <laughs> getting up and doing this performance for their client in court. This play has an urgency, and even more so now. Uh, for a play that was written back in 2017, for it to have been in the Griffin Award last year, it, everybody keeps going, oh, it's so timely. It's so timely, and I go, that's what's awful about this play is that this play at any time in the last 50 years has been timely. Only one in 10 trials come through with a guilty conviction. But that doesn't make sense because nine women aren't lying. That is just how difficult it is to prove these things and I don't think the public really understand that. And there's the cases that become really public like we've had recently you do, you have you look in the media and you see people go, Oh well, she must be lying if she was if he didn't get convicted and you go, that is makes no sense. Women aren't lying. And I think uh, if you want to see how it happens and why this system needs to change because it really is the victim goes on trial, not the assailant. Um, I think if you're ready to face that and ready to have difficult conversations with people about that, you should see this play.